And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Scout Midrange. Want to go ahead and give our Scout keyword some more love. Um, been a little while since I've played a Quinn deck, and uh, that's what we're going to do here Misfortune and Quinn. And in particular, we are playing a deck with the Siren. I had a, a donation yesterday, if y'all noticed, to build a uh, deck with the Siren in it. And honestly, this is probably the best. Uh, version for the sirens. That's why that's why I put it in here. Um, you know, seven mana, three seven with scout. Whenever you play, you get to draw a misfortune. Um, so you know, it's it's really easy to attack with the, this thing with the scout because of the seven toughness. You get to attack with it twice, hopefully. And then while I'm attacking, all of your spells and skills deal an extra damage. That's going to be really important with misfortunes trigger. The thing is, is I, I wanted to try to take a little bit more advantage of that than really just misfortunes trigger. But I, I couldn't really couldn't really find the room, and I, I wanted like some more spells in here. But I also want all of these um, allies in here also, and so it was it was difficult, you know. So basically, you'd have to be able to play fast speed spells while you're attacking with the siren, um, and have them do extra damage. the The one that really comes up, of course, the one that pops into mind is make it rain. But I just I just don't know if like having make it rains and not having any way like I don't know I just don't know if make it rains really that great in the format it is pretty good against aggro but that's kind of about it um, we we do kind of have make it rains with uh, you know misfortunes um, champion spell is make it rain so if we have a misfortune in play and then play the siren we draw another misfortune and that second misfortune will be a make it rain so we'll still have that. Um, all right, anyway, I guess I wanted to point out... Oh, let's do this because... Oh, that's easier to see. Uh, I wanted to, to say something. Tomorrow, early stream. We're, I'm going to be streaming at 11 a.m. Eastern. So those of you over over in the EU or you know different part of the world, that, that may be um, easier for y'all to view, like if, if my normal stream time is late at night. Um, so just kind of uh, pointing that out. We're going to have just a, a different stream time, one a one-time thing tomorrow. 11 a.m. Eastern time. I'll be I'll be live, uh, but then you know like the uh, YouTube videos will be up shortly thereafter, so we'll still have the videos for y'all over on YouTube. But yeah, let's let's have some fun. Let's play some Misfortune Quinn. Um, let's get lots of attacks. That's what we're trying to do. Trying to get lots of attacks for these champs. Um, I guess I have Yasuo sleeves. That's fine. Yasuo is cool. All right. It's been a it's been a while since we played a um, a scout themed deck. All right, we're back to diamond one like we were yesterday. We got to win five more than we lose to get to masters. Hopefully, we'll do that today. How old am I? I am in my thirties. Here we go. Hopefully we get to do some cool stuff with, uh, with the siren. All right, gonna get rid of the second warden and honestly probably don't, don't really love repose for this matchup. This is going to be like a, a control deck. Um, they could have easy ways to get rid of Repose with like Make It Rain also. And, you know, we'll just kind of be doing a, a normal... Kind of normal-ish curve. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Like the, the flavor text with that card.
Coral creatures is awesome. Yeah, gotta love Spell Shocker. Or Shell Shocker, eh, for sure. Gots to. No prey, no pay. Ooh, good card, good card. Wish they would speed up this animation for Pilfer Goods. That was a good turn. I'll try to protect Misfortune during their attack with the single combat. Hey, Static Sing getting the gifted sub. Thank you so much there, Kitty Dexterity. Bringing the hype early on in the stream. Alright. Attacking with our scout creature, getting the misfortune trigger. Oh no. Somebody else is mowing their yard now. Harvey's not a fan. Are, are deck request donations only for um, basically yes and no so donation decks are, are ten dollars and um, I will you know definitely play your deck on stream you know five games in ranked like always and I'll play it um, you know whatever day that you would like me to play it basically and uh, um, and that's that's either like your deck code or if you want or um, or I can also take like your deck code and, and tune it first if you want or I can build a deck um, around a couple of cards or whatever you know like you can just give me your deck idea and I will just do that so it's um, yeah, so all of that is up to you. But with that being said, I also just take take normal ideas. If you if you just have like ideas that you want to you know want to share, I'm always you know um, interested in seeing new deck ideas and everything, and uh, you know just on in the YouTube comments or um, anything like that. This one right here, Rex. Yep, we're playing Siren. So we have a 75% chance of this working. Hope it does. No, it didn't. Dang. Thanks, Gustavo. Thank you. We protect these woods as they protect us. All right, gonna go with the the scout that has a uh, barrier that we can uh, challenge their three two with. Back. 
Fair enough. What do you see? Um, so yeah, we got we got a couple of sirens at the top end. Have a good amount of top end cards with this deck. That was something I'm a little slightly worried. We got a lot of five sixes and then a couple sevens. So we have five fives, four sixes, and two sevens. No, I'm sorry, Frostbite. With luck, your bounty covers half a meal. Ready, boy. Say your farewells. Shield up. And those of y'all watching on YouTube, you can do the, the donation decks also. The the donation link is in the is in is always in the video descriptions. If there's anything you want me specifically to play or to build. I'll do it. You too, Frostbite. You too. Thanks for stopping by. Dangerous water. <laughs> <laughs> Plunder Poro. So I'm gonna I think I'll wait on Plunder Poro. Doesn't have any keywords right now. This is annoying because they get to vulnerable my 4 4. Oh wow, they didn't vulnerable the 4 4 to the 4 5. Huh. Interesting. I kind of want a single combat, man. So I, I would trade, I would trade three cards just for their citrus curry if I did that. No, I guess we don't want to do that. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I would. Yeah, if you want me to build build in a deck around unyielding on the undying. <laughs> Doesn't seem like the, the best use, but um, yeah, we can certainly do that. Um, do I have to plunder to, to turn that on? Hey waffles. Yes, this is this game is live. Yep. Oh yeah, if you just Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Something ancient. It is available to download. We get Challenger and Regeneration. You know, this good old 1-1 one, one regenerates. Pretty useful. Hmm.
<laughs> That's true, I do I do like a challenge. No, it's it doesn't even take twenty seconds to find another person though. There's there's a lot of players. Like you'll you'll be good. Snow, wind, and ice. Yeah, it's, it's a big game. There's a lot of players. You'll be just fine. Repost. A world in perfect stillness. Set the course. I don't think that we get any more damage from Siren. annoying. I don't think we get any more damage for single combat like with Siren. I might as well put it down to one. Potentially have three attacks this turn. Potentially. Oh, that thing just heals completely? Oh, I should have just... I should have... I was thinking it was going to get, you know, like, one extra toughness, but it just heals completely? I, I should have... Um. I should have blocked the Citrus Courier. Uh no, I don't think you can. I don't. I don't think you can log into the game with Facebook. Um, the easy, the best thing to do is to have a Riot account, because then you can uh, have it on your PC and on your phone, um, and have just have the same account and everything. And you don't have to worry about like log. You know, it logs in automatically and, and stuff. You've been making a ton of dread mod decks, having a blast with it. Okay. Maybe a, a Gangplank uh, Lux deck. Man. I so wish I would have blocked the Citrus Courier and had a second point of toughness right about now. I'm just dead. Who says I don't share? Oh yeah, that that one, Dreadmaw. Okay, is that Dreadway? I think that's. I think that may be Dreadway, not Dreadmaw. I I don't remember. I don't have any outs. Like I, I don't have anything to do. Wish I had one more mana and I could play the Citrus Courier also. Who needs me? Oh gosh, they get to attack now? Right. That looks pretty that's a pretty interesting deck though that my opponent was playing with a bunch of Citrus Couriers with Anivia. Kind of the same same kind of deck as what we're doing. But Anivia goes bigger. Made a, a really poor block, but I don't think that would have changed anything. No, Waffles, that's that. No, this is not like uh, Hearthstone where you can't compete without money. No, you can, um, you can grind for the cards fairly quickly, and uh, yeah, you can you can play without like obviously the the very first 
like initial grind of getting cards and, and everything is going to be the toughest like you know your account has the least amount of cards and the, the the least amount of power and stuff right away but you can you can play and ranked right away against other people with beginner account like they'll pair you against other people with beginner accounts and stuff um for the most part and uh, you can play against the ai and earn experience to earn stuff the the reward system in this game is incredible there's you can earn all the cards. Alright, so we're playing against Heimerdinger, Vi, Leeson. So playing against Control. We'll get rid of Repost again. Um, I guess I get rid of Siren because it's a 7 drop, but it's a really good 7 drop. Especially for this matchup, like it, you know, draw, drawing that extra card and everything. Kind of want to keep it. Yeah, this is the most most generous of any card game. Okay, Arco, you don't you don't like the the citrus courier in this kind of deck. Awesome waffles, yeah, you'll like it. And if you want to, if you want to watch me play, and um, do have the the YouTube? Here's a link to the YouTube channel where I put all of my videos up. And so I put four to five videos every single day up on uh, YouTube that you can find some cool stuff. Misfortune. That was misfortunate. They get excited on my misfortune. Thank you. Mystic shots. Because huh. Mystic Shot was fast speed and not burst speed, they weren't able to get those, but I don't know if that's, like, very good value. Like, they just, you know, used a card to do three damage on this kind of crappy 2-4. They probably could have done better with that. Well, they got me there. Definitely thought they would be attacking, and they just didn't attack. And I just wasted my turn, so... Touche got me there. The problem with playing at Misfortune is, of course, they'll kill it my next turn. I don't know if I'll be able to get uh, the Vi off the battlefield first, but without having Misfortune or Quinn die, but I'm going to try.
All right, cool. Good night, Blade. I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, this this card is a um, is a weird card that that just says summon me from hand once you've played two spells this round. So once my opponent played the second spell, they had two of them in hand, and so they just yeah they just kind of jump out into play. That's that's the only card like that. So that card's a little weird. Do I have them down to seven? That was nice getting eight damage across. They have burst spells I can't respond anyway, but if they play like a fast spell, I could respond with single combat and try to kill Heimerdinger before they get the the turrets. So that's that's my plan right now. Alright, they just pass. That means I will. I think I... That's kind of nice. Kind of nice. You're cute when you're armed. Firepower is always in style. Hey, thank you, Bag Ninja. I'm doing good. Thanks for stopping by. Coming on over from YouTube. Welcome, welcome. So my plan here is give the Vi vulnerable, play the Genevieve to pump up the power of my things, have this be 5 power, have the Grizzled Ranger challenge the Vi at 5 power. Hmm. Looks like plan's not working so well. not working so well. Conflict is all in the mind. I'm reading her so good. Oh, I guess the Green Fane Warden and the Genevieve Elmhart. I don't know. Hang out. I don't know. They go scouting and stuff. Whatever they do. My most groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> Callista Barrier. Um, so like a... Okay, so like a Demacia deck with Barrier protecting Callista. Definitely doing that. Um, yeah, that could definitely work. That, that'd be, you know, I'd probably build it like real similar to the Demacia Sacrifice deck we played yesterday, if you've seen that deck. I don't really want to attack with either of these. No. 
Oh, that's bad. I will not hold back. Yes, yes, again. Yeah, Shen kind of fits the the barrier theme a little better. It just doesn't it just doesn't make sense to attack with the other things. Um well, what we're we doing? We're doing like. I guess maybe we can. Um, they have this, yeah. Shen Shen barrier definitely um, goes together real well. I think Shen's a little underpowered, but it, it's it's always good giving the champions that don't see a lot of play some love. I know I'm sacrificing the Green Fane Warden. I would be to do three damage to Lee Sin. Yeah, like that's the block they're gonna make. Um, I have I have like extra room to be able to put stuff, so that's not that big of a deal. Um, I like them blocking with this this four one fearsome and just letting it die. I like that. I like their blocks. Oh, I guess I guess they are at five. So they don't have lots of life. I forgot. We dealt a lot of damage earlier. Hey, Scrub Lord. On the scene. Boo. I've got your back. Stop killing my misfortune. I don't like it. Our decks looked good here, though. Like... We're kind of out grinding Vi, Heimerdinger, Lee Sin. This game has kind of showed that Lee Sin for a six mana champion really isn't that strong. I've been really disappointed with Lee Sin. Okay, thanks, Back Ninja. Yeah. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, just kind of give me a little, uh, you know, give me like like some cards that you want to see in the deck or, or like. You know, just in the description, um, you know, like what you kind of want the deck to look like, all that kind of stuff, and, and let me know what day you want me to play it. If you have a preference, first, second, third, fourth, or fifth, also, you know, like I'll I'll put in whatever time slot you want. Um, tomorrow, of course, is going to be a little bit different with me with me streaming real early, but obviously I can still play it tomorrow. I'm just saying that the schedule is a little different. Not bad. Quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. It's beautiful, isn't it? What are you doing? I don't like it. Whatever it is. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. I guess we go over here to keep them from killing my Quinn. I could could challenge the Heimerdinger though and kill Heimerdinger, uh, but then they kill Quinn. Um, yeah, I'll just attack like this. This is gonna be attack number three with Misfortune. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, just send just send me your your list and. I will uh, look to improve it in any way I can. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true, Rex. Yeah, whenever whenever Shen does level up, he is incredible. Prepare for combat. Prepare for combat. 
So this isn't gonna go this isn't going very well for me. Lifesteal on Vi. That is not good. Not good. And Misfortune does one damage. Uh, does one damage three times instead of doing three damage. So one damage three times does not kill Vi. So that's really annoying. Okay. Um, if we if we attack out, they just go block. They just block across the board. I'm not gonna have lethal. So we'll have. Yeah, you know, it's basically like when do I want them to gain ten? If I wanted them to gain ten at, at the end or at the beginning, and I guess at the beginning. I guess it doesn't matter. Well. At the end, forces them to do more blocks. Because they're gonna take they're gonna take the three damage from the misfortune trigger anyway, so they're gonna go to nine. So they would gain the full ten. For forces them to do some more blocks. Like they ha they have to block all three of these middle things to survive. That's a bad block because of overwhelm. Like that that's a waste of a block. Um, five, eight, nine. Oh, I guess, oh, this thing's only one power. They, they don't have to block that. They did just throw away this 4-1 for no, <laughs> got nothing from, for it. Alright, back to 13. Heimerdinger is good. I don't know, I don't know if Heimerdinger is this good. We'll kind of find out. Okay. Alright, one on one. Attacking twice a turn, pretty strong. Pretty strong. Turns out, pretty strong. No tech, nope. Been playing Legends of Runeterra instead. This, this new game, it's out on mobile now and everything. Um, it's a really, really well put together game. I recommend checking it out. Garen Fiora. I think Ranger's Resolve is going to be good in this matchup. Sorry. Good afternoon, Beast. Hope you're having a good one. Some way they just don't attack and miss five points of damage, right? To get misfortune down right away, start getting the attack triggers. Strength and grace, beauty is a blade. Don't stand in my way. Precision and grace. Sure. I'll take that trade. Go ahead. No, what are you doing? Block. Love ya. Why did they block? 
guess I could have made it more enticing by attacking with the Misfortune and then using the Ranger's Resolve also. Badger Bear. Here we go. Here we go. Badger Bear is so good. I, I should have played this other protector, by the way. I know what I'm doing. But it wouldn't really mattered. Well, I don't know, maybe. Man, I want to play one of the scout things, but I can't. I can't play any of these scout things and play Bright Steel Protector. That would be ideal. So I guess I'm going to do the Razor Scale Hunter for my scout thing. Why have we never sparred, Fiora? The outcome was obvious. All right, now the problem is I don't get to attack again because of this Garen. Well, wait. No, I can't attack with this thing. Yeah, it'll just trade with the Badger Bear, but yeah, I want to I want to get those attacks in to level up Misfortune. Um Who does not know the name Laurent? Ooh. That's the question. Who doesn't know the name Laurent? You're covered. Stop trying to kill my misfortune. I don't like it. I see you over there. Killing misfortune. All right, this lets us still play the Grizzled Ranger, so we can immediately attack right away with Grizzled Ranger. Will ya? Well, I do what is left. So I get to block with the... Oh, man. Okay, they only have one mana. Okay. I was going to say it's risky to, because of uh, single combat, but... I could have blocked with Misfortune. So pre-combat or nah? Hopefully, yeah, hopefully we don't get punished. Hey, kid. How's it hanging? Bertrand, I didn't smell Earth. Expect you here. Let's go. All eyes on me. No closer. Can you stomach this? So if I flip Garen in my scout deck, does that mean I get two combats per turn? Yep. Yeah. Well, basically, yeah, you'll get your the beginning of turn. You'll get if it's if you don't have an attack token, you'll get an attack token from Garen, and then you can attack with your scouts, and then you can gain another attack token. And so yeah, even the turn you're not supposed to attack, you'd get <laughs> two attacks. Um. All right, they're setting up judgment. We 
Yeah, they're definitely setting up judgment. Yeah, I mean, that's... Or, I mean, it could be Unyielding Spear. I mean, if it was Unyielding Spear, they would have played it first. Anyway. I want to make this attack. I don't want them to judgment and get two hits with Garen and have Garen leveled up. that counts as a strike anyway. And I guess I could have attacked the 4-1, but oh well, I didn't. Alright, Garen's leveled up. But I still have I still have a scout thing out here, so uh, we get to get our two attacks in, get the two misfortune triggers in. So that's good. Now and... Forever. You're covered. We do what is right. I'll stop you. Shield up. Clear up two spots for the Island Navigator plus the one drop. What do we get? <laughs> Inspiring Mentor. Not the best. Here we go. Always forward. Sweet. That's why I'm the captain. I feel like we played pretty well against around that judgment. That my opponent was telegraphing. We did it. Two and one. GG's. Only lost to another Citrus Courier deck so far. That's pretty interesting. Citrus Courier with Anivia. I'm Revi. No Lisa in this time. We're going to be playing Vimerdinger later on ourselves. I do like Island Navigator, but... I want to look for something a little cheaper. Maybe I should have ditched the Protégé as well. Protégé is pretty good, though. drop. Yeah. That's what's up. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Have Rangers resolve for protection. Basically make them use another removal spell, you know, for our, our one mana trick. Time to make some coin. And looks like they're gonna take this damage and then probably oh, okay, they're doing that. I was gonna say like maybe next turn. 
do something that does one damage to the misfortune. I need no hmm. Normally I'd play Fleet Feather Tracker first, obviously, but if I play Fleet Feather Tracker. Uh, I'm making. Making Static Shock really good. I gotta show you the sights of Bilgewater. The sights are fine. The smell. No. Maybe I just should have, because now I'm making Static Shock good again. I'm doing this my way. Just like Honey Thresher Geese. Yeah, it would be nice to have this tracker in play to challenge. Yeah, the build water board music is great. I do wish it was a little longer. Like it, I feel like it loops fairly early. Unfortunately, they're going to be killing my misfortune this turn. I don't need a plan. I really use the misfortune against these floor begons. OMG, please do that. Oh, wait. But then also, please don't have static shock. Okay. Misfortune? Yes, yes, again. Sweet. Uh, just leveling this thing up while we can. I know it's not the best attack, but. No, I'm not I'm not playing in a tournament right now. We're just playing ring. Hey JJ. Yeah, we got this Poro. Look at him. <laughs> you can click on him too. Aw. They tap out. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. I wish I could double spell five, five, six, three, and we have seven. So I can only play one. So I guess we'll play the. Biggest one. With me. The most expensive one. I don't know, maybe Quinn was better. Getting two things. Alright, let's see. So we're attacking out. Uh, you're blocking here. You are blocking... Uh, there. That should kill you. 
And we'll have uh, you block here. This doesn't have overwhelm. This is does one three times. I mean, I guess I could do that. It's the same thing. Oh, wait, wait. No, yeah, because it's this. Yeah, we're forcing them to block. one has overwhelm I mean I love I'm probably in a lot of trouble if they have another Vi keep me at six Six is a low life total. That's that, you know, gotta be worried about get excited. That was a pretty low life total. So yeah, well, we're gonna single combat the uh, have the four four fight. If I have the two two fight, it's it's kind of easier for them to get rid of the two two. And if they do, that could mean more trample damage or more overwhelm damage being dealt to me. So we'll have the four four. It's harder to get rid of the four four. And then if they do, they don't overwhelm any more damage. Well. Craft a Vi and it gets nerfed, you do not get any refund, no. They have cast one get excited this game. Darn. So close. Man, so close. I mean I could have blocked could have blocked the 6-1 with my misfortune with the 4-3. Saved one point of life. We plan our revenge. I guess I needed to do that. Well, obviously I could I could have just blocked it with the four four, but then I would have had to have misfortune block the other thing. So I could have saved two points of life if I did that. But I <clears throat> I tried saving all that life with the get excited. And, you know, hindsight and everything. Obviously I wanted to protect misfortune because the trigger was just going to kill them. But Oh, all well, GG's. So close. This is the burn deck. Um, I'll keep the two cheap tricks against the burn deck. Uh, I was gonna say, hopefully, draw some cheaper things to get to be able to use these tricks. Burn could just always be a tough matchup, depending on what you have. Well, that card's not very good. It's 
one less attacker coming my way. Alright, so if I single combat, I take three from from combat. Go down to 14. If I don't, I take two here, but then this blocks. I play like this thing to block also, so I would take three total, and I would keep both single combats. I'd be taking three either way. But I can keep the single combats. Alright, so now we're taking five. Yeah, exactly, QQ. Yeah, I, I've taken out Rummage from those kind of decks. Also, I, from like those kind of control decks, I have felt that Rummage isn't uh, where you want to be. Not a good turn. Definitely could have used a four mana card. Not a good turn. Next turn should be pretty good as long as they don't go straight to attacks. If they do go straight to attacks, I'm in trouble. Oh, let me play Quinn first. I'm gonna play like a Draven. No, they don't have Draven. Ugh. Not my first gun fight. Okay, still at nine. Down to five. Make the Empire proud. Yeah, I like the, the four mana draw too. That uh, you know can be two mana. I do like that more than rummage. No Not you. Uh, you take you. In case they just don't block, it's certainly possible they just don't block this Gwyn. And so I just have to cast the tough thing first. Oh, I should have taken the 1-1. One, one. should have taken the 1-1. One, one. Not the 2-1. Could take the 2-1 the next attack. Alright, so it looks like they got me this this game. Defeated. Not broken. That was that turn four that we played absolutely nothing on that turn four. Um, it did turn out that keeping the single combats uh, really didn't didn't help. Uh, we 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 drew all you know, I kept the one single combat and then we drew others. Unfortunately, um, I know, right? Oh, if only Rangers Resolve made your Nexus tough. That would be nice. 
Um, you know, pretty good little deck here. That that game four was so so close. Wonder if like my last turn I played the Genevieve Elm Hearts. Like maybe if I would have played like the Quinn instead. Um, I mean, all they would have had they would have had to block with a fearsome creature, and then so like if they blocked with the the fearsome, like they would have had to do uh, to stay alive, then I, I would have had my four four be able to block their six one overwhelm, and then you know maybe we don't lose like maybe like that. That game was so close, and I think that, I think that uh, you know, I had like two decisions. If I would have, I think if I would have played the Quinn, we wouldn't have lost the turn that we did, and or if I would have um, sacrificed my misfortune in the block, um, you know, we could have stayed alive there also. All right, uh, but there we go. So that's Scout Midrange. Um, didn't get to do it too, too uh, didn't get to do too cool of stuff with the siren I really wanted to do some cool stuff with the siren but um, didn't really draw we only drew it the that one game uh, that my opponent was beat me down with Anivia's. but all right that's it here for Scout midrange so thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next video All right, Karma Thresh Control. Hey, Boo, thanks for gifting out the sub. Back Ninja, now a sub. Thank you, Boot. Our second sub of the day. Alright, we're going to play some Karma Thresh Control up next. Do I have the Ionia sleeves yet? Not yet. How close are we? Uh, still a little ways. Okay, let's get this upload going. <laughs> 